left for behind. Instances of ships before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons, and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it. No matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku gry Metro Exodus. To był taki wstęp, na czym żeśmy się zatrzymali. No i kontynuujemy. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Mm. Artyom jest już w Aurorze, jedziemy. No dobra, usiądźmy sobie. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home for one, a place where we could live, a log cabin on the outskirts of a forest, or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together, through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland, especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? Mm. <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. Not We've up. only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. No dobrze. Leaving already? Well, go get them, tiger. Yy, a, może tutaj jeszcze siądźmy, zobaczmy co tutaj jest. Tu jest ten dziennik. A może do radia zażyj zajrzyjmy. Co tu jest ciekawego? Radio niech sobie gra. Zgasimy lampkę. A my idziemy dalej. Mm. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here... This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here. Or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like the Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. And us? We had been living down there for so many years. No, Anna nie może tego przeżyć. Że tyle czasu byliśmy oszukiwani. No dobrze. Gdzie to? 
have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. No, Jinky. So, Artyom, are you up for a gym? Come on, pick the guitar. <laughs> no, dobra, dobra. Na gitarze nie gram tylko na klawiszach, ale spróbujmy. Może mi coś wyjdzie. <laughs> O? No. No dobrze, dobrze. Thank you, Stepan. Uciekamy dalej w takim razie. I'm sorry to ask, Katia, but Nastya's father. Uciekamy dalej. Does Nastya know? Chociaż czekajcie, yes. posłuchajmy może co. O czym oni rozmawiają jeszcze? Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed. And I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sieni used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. Mm. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here, quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bombed to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there were lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course, general industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. Mm. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river purification and on top of it they gave us trouble for not helping them oh, senior went to check what was going on and there were only locals there because silentius at the skatina had sent our people away to test them he said that if they wanted to be truly accepted they had to defeat a demon senior went to stop them but it was too late he only found burnt rags and then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> <sighs> it kind of got so glum in here. Hmm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing. Mm, no dobrze. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was uh, mad. The colonel's waiting for you uh, on the bridge. It's a long story. 
Come on, out with it! Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it! <laughs> Usiądźmy, tak. <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my life. No, you ask me about the vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and leapt down. No. There was that shed down there. The roof was kind of close. Uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this oh, rest of and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> <coughs> no, well, you Duke are lucky you already have a nickname. No, co, nie się już więcej? <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artyom did most of it. No, no, powiada. Co i jak? No dobrze, skoro... O! Zajączki czy króliki? Jedzą sobie, patrzcie. Co to są zajączki czy króliki? Ja nigdy nie jestem w stanie rozpoznać. Oddzielnie mają wodę, oddzielnie mają jedzenie, patrzcie. Nie boją się wcale. Szkoda, że nie można ich pogłaskać. Fajne. No dobra, idźmy dalej. No czego? Co znowu wymyśliłeś? Miałem rozmowę z Ark! Wszystko dzięki Tokorem. On miał ten dekoder pracować. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Is this it, Ark? Identify yourself. Over. This is Colonel Sviatoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Colonel. I regret. 
I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Uh, well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. <laughs> No, thank. Do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. Oh, the minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. No, it's a thumbs down. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. <sighs> Surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So we can hope for a smooth sailing from here and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You were saying it's all about the results. Ah, yes. These soft-bellied attitudes must stop. The ends do justify the means. Well, I, I don't object. But not all ends can be called just. Exactly. And this is why, why I have been waiting for a chance like this for ages. And now everything seems to be coming together. It's the government. Don't you understand? Oh, but of course. Hmm. You don't seem to quite grasp the importance, which is unexpected, especially after the news you just heard. <clears throat> yes, well, say there is a government. So what? We spent so many years apart, so why worry now? Ah, but don't you see? They probably knew nothing about us. With the sheer power of enemy strikes directed at Moscow, they never expected so many of us to survive. And now, now we, we get to, get to tell them Moscow still lives. And not only that, it also preserved a functioning civilization. Do you get that? All these years we were fighting a losing battle for mere survival. And now, and now we have a new goal! And what would that goal be? You don't get this, do you? The command center should have all of the command and control networks. All the intelligence. They should know where all the nukes hit. Have complete fallout maps. They have everything. Information rules the world. And Metro is chock full of people. Put two and two together, we could repopulate the country. Yeah, and of course not at once. First, we might have to take the country back. But we'll be doing this under the direction of a real government. People with all the necessary skills. And in the end, we will break out of the underground dead end we are in. Uh, it would be nice, sure. By the way, I meant to ask for some time now. How did you learn about the Yamantau bunker, Colonel? Oh, the information about the Ark project I have is beyond doubt. I'm saying this as a GRU officer. I had colleagues working there, preparing evacuation plans. So I've been briefed into it officially. So, now we just have to get there. And we will. We will. The journey won't be easy, though. <laughs> we were never looking for an easy way. Yes. I've been thinking about that for a long time. The Central Industrial District, a priority target. Katya did confirm my suspicions. The tracks might have survived partially, but the state they're in, though, is most likely terrible. I think we'll have to fix sections of the track. 
I think our people can handle it. Besides, I'm sure there will be sidetracks. What do you think could have happened in the relatively intact territories in the meantime? That's a good question. Well, we are going to learn it pretty soon. Yes. Yes, that, that we will. No i co dalej? Well, let us talk business for a change. Namely, the engine status. All right. How much time will it take to refill the water tank from now on? Around three hours if we don't have to clean the filters. We do, but not the whole set, just the rough one. Is the pump in order now? Yes, we have fixed it. Hmm, shame. Have we got oil at least? Oh, sure. We have enough to get to Vladivostok if need be. <laughs> Something is in abundance. The pipes? As I have told you already, it's high time for an overhaul. Crest and I did our best removing the lime buildup, but... Uh... Well, we just can't afford that. Are you finished with all the jigs? Looks like it. But uh, let's have another go, just in case. Yes, that can't hurt. Is the pump in order now? Yes, we have fixed it. No, dobra, zobaczmy na tą mapkę. How much time will it take to refill the water tank from now on? Around three hours if we don't have to clean the filters. Mm -hmm. Do we have any spares? Widzę, że komentarze, znaczy te dialogi się powtarzają. Zajrzyjmy jeszcze tutaj na dół do. Mm. Zaraz, gdzie to było? Chciałem na wa do warsztatu zajrzeć. Żeby ewentualnie sprawdzić, co tam nam potrzeba. O, jest! O! What do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach. No, ładnie, ładnie. There's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. Nie ma sprawy. We'll keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. No, w miarę możliwości. Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Okay. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. No, byłem już pokornika. Byłem już. You guys are fast to break gear, but not too expedient to fix it. No tak. Doróbmy sobie może tego, co nam potrzebne. What would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. Tu już mamy wszystko na fulla. 
Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? Aha, miałem sure jeszcze przejrzeć e, ten, ten, e, stan wyczyszczenia, bo ta broń to niestety tutaj ma to do siebie, że się brudzi sama z siebie. Ale nie, tu jest dobrze. Jakość maski też jest dobra. Dobrze, to jednak wszystko. No dobra, to jedziemy dalej w takim razie. A jeszcze do tego zajrzyjmy gościa. Jest. No to zajarajmy. Well, you are the right kind of guys. I mean, you, the colonel, duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really, no, a child, but he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes, uh, thank you. You you people accepted me and, and I... I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing, so much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Phew. Though you guys are gonna see the government, so, bratucha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something awful. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, Artyom. You seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. Okay. We have to think about. Or just stay. We have enough space now. No, no, bro. Got to be careful here. See? I say it together. Shall we overcome any and all? It was a yeah. He's a great guy. You all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? Nasze króliczki czy zajączki? No co, jeżeli ja nie mogę w górę? O! Coś się podcięło chwilę. Ale już jest dobrze. It's high time for an overhaul. No dobra. To lecimy w takim razie dalej. Bo dialogi widzę te same co były wcześniej. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker. The final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? 
Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. No i... No my chyba wiosnę. A była zima, przypominam. Ale coś to się... Jakiś ten klimat taki niezbyt optymist... Optym... optymistyczny. No. Mnie się też nie podoba. Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us. Or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. No faktycznie. Czyli się wycofali już. No. Coś mi się tu nie podoba. Stoi. Jakie opancerzone te samochody, patrzcie. A no właśnie, tu mi się też coś nie podoba. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Mm. Mm. 
Ale zabezpieczenia. O kurczę. Jakie śluzy. No dobrze, to w takim, w takim układzie na tym etapie kończymy ten odcinek. Zapraszam do kolejnego, a na razie to ode mnie tyle. Pozdrawiam serdecznie i do kolejnego odcinka. Trzymajcie się. Cześć.